248 years ago today, the United States was born as an independent country from the British Empire. This is an incredibly important day, since it marks the birth of one of the most important nations to ever exist on Earth. No matter how much you love or hate the good old US of A, you can't deny the global impact of the United States on the modern world. And seeing that the majority of you are from the US, this video is my celebration of 4th of July for y'all. So today, I'll be talking about 4 lost pieces of American history. On May 29, 1856, Abraham Lincoln would deliver a 90-minute speech in Bloomington, Illinois at the Bloomington Convention. This speech is actually pretty important in the career of Lincoln, since it actually helped relaunch Lincoln's political career after his time serving in the Illinois House of Representatives. Lincoln's speech stressed the importance of the Republican Party to stop expansion of slavery in the recently annexed territories of the Western United States after the Mexican-American War. During the speech, Lincoln's friend and legal partner, William Henderson, attempted to write down the first 15 minutes of the speech, but eventually threw out his paper, with historians claiming that many viewers of the speech were so transfixed that they didn't even write down the speech. In 1896, Lincoln's friend, Henry Whitney, published his transcription of the speech to McClure magazine. However, this transcription gained much skepticism, due to many doubting whether Whitney's transcription was legitimate and faithful until this transcription would be debunked by historian Paul M. Engel, who cited the 40-year gap between the 1856 speech and the 1896 transcription. It really isn't known why the speech is lost. It has been theorized that reporters initially didn't write it down due to it potentially being anti-slavery. However, nothing has been officially confirmed, and as of 2024, the speech is lost in its entirety. On June 17, 1972, five burglars were caught rummaging through the Democratic National Committee's office at the Watergate Complex in Washington, D.C., and it would later be discovered that these five individuals were in cahoots with the Nixon administration, and the Nixon administration were actually attempting to cover up the break-in. This would come to be known as the Watergate scandal, which you should know about, and the subsequent Watergate investigation led to the discovery of the smoking gun tape which would lead to Nixon's resignation as president. But during the Watergate investigation, it came to light that Nixon recorded many of his phone calls, just like other presidents. However, it was brought to light during the investigation that 18 minutes were missing from an audio tape. Nixon's secretary, Rosemary Woods, claims to have accidentally wiped the 18 minutes of audio. But several of Nixon's opponents have doubted this story and have accused Nixon of deleting the tapes himself. Conspiracy theories have come out about the missing 18 minutes. But these 18 minutes of audio are still missing to this day, and it is very unlikely that they will ever resurface. On July 10th, 1969, the Apollo 11 landing capsule landed onto the surface of the moon, marking the first time any human were to sit onto the moon. The whole journey and landing was recorded by the astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, on a high-quality 16mm film Super 8 camera. The footage is broadcasted back to Earth via signal encoding known as SSTV, and the SSTV signal was picked up by a telescope in Goldstone, California and Parks, Australia. However, a problem occurred with this broadcast, as the cameras used by the astronauts were incompatible with the standard broadcasting of the average television at the current time. What was NASA's solution to this? They recorded the signal of the moon landing footage playing on a high-quality screen using a camera, which heavily degraded the footage with this camera lower quality version being the one that was broadcasted to TVs worldwide. In 2006, NASA started a search for the high definition footage. However, NASA would check their own archives and would come out empty handed. NASA would theorize that they were most likely white for reuse, which is also supported by the fact that the high quality footage was apparently not labeled. This lost footage has also birthed many conspiracies, such as the infamous fake moon landing one. The high quality footage remains lost as all we can do is hope that it exists out there somewhere. On November 22, 1963, President John F. Kennedy would be assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald in Dallas, Texas. The assassination would cause many bystanders to take cover in panic, but among this chaos, one lady stood, a babushka lady. The Babushka Lady is observed by many onlookers standing on grass between Elm and Main Streets, and even appears in the famous Zapruder film, which you've probably seen, that shows JFK's assassination. According to several onlookers, the Babushka Lady was holding some type of camera. It isn't known if the Babushka Lady was photographing or recording the event. However, a woman by the name of Beverly Oliver 
claimed that she was with Bush Lady at a revival meeting in Joshua, Texas, and she recorded the assassination on a Super 8 Kashika camera, and that she handed the footage over to FBI agents. However, this claim is really weak since no real evidence has proved this as fact, and if anything, there's more evidence to the contrary, such as her being taller and younger than the Babushka Lady. However, the identity of the Babushka Lady is still unknown, and this mystery has given way to more conspiracies, with an absurd one stating that her camera was a gun. The identity of the Babushka Lady is still unknown, and it isn't even known if she was actually holding the camera, but due to the fact that the assassination happened over 60 years ago, it is incredibly unlikely we will ever know the mystery of the Babushka Lady or her rumored camera.